the journey so far. The Rydal Road. A temple was found, and the turn of a key woke a giant from slumber. The makers have need of me, the warden bellowed. And so he went, in search of their only hope. Hey there people, it's Cuddle Snots again, and here I am with episode 14 of the Dark Souls 100% walkthrough. In the last episode, we progressed significantly through the Foundry, and the episode before that, we got Death Grip, so we've been in the Foundry for a little while now. And in this episode, we are going to fight the Guardian, and blow shit up, and destroy a dear friend, a dear, dear friend. But what? I totally thought you could do that. To be honest, every time I've ever tried to do this, I've always used the custodian to blow the, blow up these crystals. But I felt this would be better. So I always thought you could just blow it up with redemption, but nope, you actually have to death grip it. And now, like I said, we have to commit a tragedy against construct kind. See? Hint, hint. We have to do a terrible thing against a whole race of stone beings and destroy our friend that has done nothing but help us. But maybe, just maybe, his soul can rest in peace. Rev. Because, you know, constructs have maker souls in them and all that gives it a blah 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 blah. Jabber, jabber, jabber. And we also managed to destroy a perfectly good receptacle for molten lead or molten metal in the process. But before we go grab that sphere, we have Karn throw us up onto this ledge to get ourselves a shadow key. Awesome. From the abyss that is within. That is within this chest. Alright. Do, 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 do. Just going around with my sphere. Kind of dancing around. Do, 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 do. This tune is probably copyrighted, so I should shut the frick up. Okay. Where... I totally ran over something. Karn's your fat ass on it? Come on, bring- It was totally- Oh my god, it totally was. I was just trying to be stupid. Okay then. But, if you were just playing through this dungeon blind, at least for me, the first time, obviously I didn't know I had to crush the, crush the construct and bring the sphere in here, is that you need a sphere in here, but the construct is too big to fit through this door, so you gotta kill it, just so you have its sphere. But waiting for us is an earth crag, like from the Drench Fort. So we're going to use that sucker there. I've thought about it using, like, that, you know, sphere as a weapon by, like, shooting at it, like the, the eggs at Karkinos. But I felt like me and Karn just wailing on it with hammers probably was torture enough, so I didn't want to add smashing it, you know, like a mere bug with a giant sphere. Actually, an equally sized sphere, like... Imagine getting run over by, like, a six-foot... Oh, just something nice. Karn, move out of the... W okay. If you talk to me when I... Okay. Move. Okay, I just want this. Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm gonna have to move you. Good boy, Karn. Defend strength. Oh, it's just strength. Meh. Alright, so remember... That's an elite item. That's a purple item. So remember... That there's an achievement for equipping an elite item, a purple item, on every single slot, including weapons. So, try to keep at least one around in each slot as you get them. Don't sell them if they're low level, just so you can get that achievement whenever you get enough stuff. And I remember when I was, like, doing achievements, and I was really desperate and really wanted the achievement, just so I didn't have to worry about it anymore or something. And I actually spent a bunch of Vulcan coins getting elite items from some of his boxes, so don't do that. Just hold on to at least one elite item in each slot, and then eventually you'll get one in each, and that'll drop naturally. Not bought artificially from Vulgrim, that demon. And everything will be fine. Alright, so we slid in our sphere. We destroyed a bunch of pottery. 
And now we get to pop away. Up here. Pop. Pop. All right. Quota filled for the video. Yeah. So now we get to knock down the heart stone. Of course, there was more shit to smash. That's an opportunity that should not be overlooked. Because Dick is always waiting within this pottery and crates. Apparently, you know, many things were needed to be stored, including vials and guilt that nobody decided to come back for. But hey. Alright, so now we got a Death Trooper way up here. You can just jump and do it. But sometimes... Okay, I'm gonna... Dem no, no, no. No, I'm not. But, okay, so if you have something like Redemption equipped, and then try to just jump and try to use, like, the the, the action to... If you, like, if you're near a Death Trooper, even if you have Redemption equipped, you'll still, like, swing across. But it has to be lined up perfectly and the, like, the, the icon has to pop up. So that can be a problem because if you have redemption and then you mistime it, like when we were falling down to get the book of the book of the dead page and you mistime it, that redemption will kind of fly out and then you and you might know that that um, that death when he like uses redemption just kind of sits his ass, you know, just keeps the gun out and just doesn't do anything else. He doesn't walk fast. He can't use any other ends or anything. So if you're in the air and you pull out redemption, you're screwed. You're falling. You're not gonna be able to grab on to the hoop. You can you can nightmare prowler. This sucker's totally dead. I don't care if he's made of nightmares. He's gonna smash with the heartstone. What was I saying? So you, uh, you want to make sure that you have. It's much easier to have death grip equipped as you're popping, so you don't have to worry about it. As you can see, now we can get ourselves up. Whereas before we could not. But it's because we got to open the door for Karn who's carrying the big heartstone and cannot hold it open for us. So like I said, remember we could come through the, on this side and grab the Vulcan coin if you didn't grab it on the first way past, but knowing me and or like if you're like me, not knowing me, I know me. If you if you like me, seeing something like that Vulcan coin and then just leaving it, assuming you'll come back is like the worst thing you can do cuz all you'll be doing is like They'll be eating at you, and you'll be looking for ways to go get it. So, if you see it and can get it, grab it. Yeah. Anyway. And, as far as I can tell... As far as I can tell, there's no reason for these posts. Because you can just pop your way over, even with that water in there. And there it was definitely it was high enough before, so you can't get stuck in there or anything. I don't know why that additional stuff is there. But it is. So, don't go down that pipe. Go down this pipe! Let's get all Mario Brothers up in here. Pipes, Mario. Okay, yeah. Bad joke. Hey, uh, bad, 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 bad. No, that was hilarious, guys. That was totally hilarious. And not a forced reference at all. Going in and out of pipes to Mario Brothers. Psh. That's totally an original reference. But yeah, so we got like, Karn leisurely stroll through, and then we gotta walk all the way around. Like I said, unfortunately, he cannot hold the door for us. So, me being the lazy bastard I am, I'm like, why do I have to walk all the way around? That's not fair. But suck it up, people. Don't be bitches like me. See, I'm not a bitch. I am a realist. We'll go with that. So giant soul number three, or number two, Psh, number three, number two out of three. And now we gotta go get the third. But first, don't wake him up yet. Just fly over like a frickin' beanie baby. Although if you're a beanie baby and he didn't throw you high enough and you got skewered on those things, your beans are going everywhere. Open it up for anybody, for Karn, and for our construct custodian friend, who we totally did not just murder his king a little while ago. Now, it doesn't matter which side you go down, either one's fine. 
However, if you really want to destroy all the pottery, you have to go down oh. both sides. However, I don't care. I can lose a couple of coins and save some screen time, so we're not going to go down there. All right, so I first thing I would say is destroy everything in here. You don't have to worry about the stuff on the walls. There's all the stuff on the ground. And you'll know why in a little bit. But as you can see, that heart stone does not look healthy. It looks diseased. So, yeah. So, but you want to kind of clear this, because this is soon to become a battlefield. So having all this, you know, crystal around can really, you know, cramp your style, if you know what I mean. Locks that gate right up there, and we can pop our way up to the third heart stone. And this time we absolutely just have to pop. Mm -hmm. Let's string these together as stylishly as possible to impress all of you viewers. Alright, that's right. That's right. Now that was some sexy popping right there. Mm -mm. That tasted good in my brain. And jump. And that's it. There's something wrong with this one. Yeah. Yeah, there is. Come on, you idiot! You've trapped me. Okay, so this. I think this is actually one of the toughest bosses in the game. What am I saying? No, this is the toughest boss so far. Is he can just destroy you. Absolutely destroy you. So, with those attacks, you want to dodge left and right. Not back, but you're not really within range. You also want to have Death Grip equipped. So you can get in range after you get out of range on his attacks. But he also has this attack that just destroyed me. And that's a spinning attack. And you need to get as far away from him as possible. It's not its not good enough just to dodge to the side or dodge back. You have to like get far away and not get hit like that. So he can also take quite a bit of punishment. So use Reperform. Use it. It might just save you behind. And remember, you can also, you can still take a little bit of damage in Reperform. And that's the, that's the attack that's really tough, because you can get out of range, get in range, but then it's much harder to get out of range than it is to get in range. And I've said range like a hundred times, but you know what I mean. It is much simpler to get in range because of death. Because of death. Nope, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Oh my god, I am so almost dead. Not if I can help it, buddy. I just do not like this boss at all. So deal as much damage as possible while you're in Reaper form. He doesn't really get more powerful, start using new tactics. So just really use it any time to get as much damage on him as possible. And then get the hell out of the way. Not like that. That was not on the way. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. And make sure to take advantage of Death Grip to get in and out of range. Why not get in range? Don't get out of range. Get out of range. Okay, get in range. Get out of range. Get out of range. Just gotta be careful. Death Grip is probably your best friend in this fight. Get away, get away. I'm trying not to get caught on that third evade issue. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Oh! I'm like, all oh, my freaking potions. No, nope. wrong way. Oh, jeez. I'm just embarrassed. But I, if you haven't figured this out, I do not like this fight. 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 Okay, last potion. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Okay. Now he's collapsing. Get some more damage on him. Remember, use death grip. Why was that, like, not spinning the right way? Shoosh. Dodge out of the way. See, now I'm just concentrating because I really don't want to. Yes! You don't have to get him all the way down. Okay. Again, I do not remember that. I do not like that fight. But. Keys, use Reaper form. 
dodge out of the way. <laughs> dodge out of the way. And stay away from that big spinning attack. Get out of that range. That is tough. Okay, evade counter. So this is not an ability. This is not anything. This is just... This is just like a com like a combo list move. And the truth be told, I don't know if I ever do it. I can't figure out the exact timing that's always talking about. I can never make this 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 counter thing happen. There's no like indicator to have it happen. I don't know, maybe one guys can tell me, but I never use it, and I've always been fine despite that abysmal performance that I cannot that I can apparently just not figure out how to do on camera. To be fair, I did not quite do very well off camera, but you don't need to know that. And totally meant to go this way. Yes, after me. It's not like you're carrying a big diseased heart stone or anything. So, there we go. The third and final heart stone. Too bad it's all fucked up in the head. Somebody wants to be my friend. Too bad, it's all fucked up in the head, and... I say that literally because it's about to get Let's fucked up in the head. The stone into the Guardian. We've seen its work, Horseman. Got option fair weeps from it. The other two heart stones were pure. I'm wagering that their radiance will cleanse the third. Alright, so... Khan, that seems like too a stupid nothing. idea, because there's two possibilities that I can think of. Hey. One, not put the corrupted heart stone on the head. And two, as you know, Idiard kind of like cleanses, tries to cleanse everything and then like can revive the Guardian all pure and stuff. So why don't you like take the corrupted stone to him to purify or something? Hindsight 2020 because everything's gone to shit now. That is one big dude. If you couldn't figure that out already. Because... Captain... That was weird. Did the music, like... That, that was weird. No, because I was about to say that, you know, Lord of the Obvious right here, but... Yeah. Alright. So now we gotta head back. And unfortunately, we cannot fast travel to Tristone, so we gotta trek our way back through the dungeon. And I mean, there's a good reason for this, and that's because Tristone is destroyed, but, you know, I don't care about that. I just care about the fact that I can't fast travel and I have to walk. That's all I care about. But we do get to do some very nice popping on the way. Except for that, that was just terrible. Smash some pots, get some, get some stuff. And I would actually do some things before you head and fight the Guardian. Number one being talking to people because they have some interesting things to say. And two, buying potions from Moria. Mostly because if you're like me, you just spend like all of them on that freaking custodian fight. Because at least for necromancers ne that's not a fight meant for necromancers and again like i said kind of early in the game they can be kind of weak but i think we did okay because we survived we survived didn't die and now we're gonna go fight the shadow of the colossus are ah, you no excuse me it's not from the shadow colossus it's not a colossus it's just a big damn punk of stone not at all derived from another series. Mm -mm. Nope! And unfortunately, it's not done as... amazingly as Shadow of the Colossus. But... You know. See, like... The one thing that this game always gets shit for is the how derivative it is. And the problem is... It is, and it takes all of it, and I just think puts it in an original package. It takes all these different elements, does them mostly well, and makes it into a fun experience. And that's all you can really ask for. But the problem is, being inspired... The Guardians run wild! 
He's gone mad, horseman. Idar doesn't know. Oh, he will soon. And what do you got to say for us? Mm. Even in this tragic, terrible time that we are currently experiencing, all you can do is grunt? Mm -hmm. Alright, good for you then. A man of few words. You just talk to me. Anyway, okay, like I was saying, there's a big difference between being derivative and being inspired or paying homage or, you know, you kind of you see what I'm saying there? Derivative means that while you're doing it, all you can think about is the other one. It's like, that reminds me of this. Ridiculously so. Like the popping. It Down to the hand gliding around the wall. It's exactly the same thing. That's derivative. However, the dungeon design, that's inspired. Because that makes you feel of Zelda. That makes you think of Zelda. That makes you... That makes you... You know, think great thoughts about Zelda. But... You're still enjoying what's happening right in front of you. You're not the thinking about Zelda and how great it was in that game. You're just thinking about you're just thinking about the similarities. And there's a difference between like being completely reminded and being you know, a passing resemblance, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, crap, she doesn't have any potions. But we're gonna buy them. I, I don't think we need any wrath potions, yeah. So if you have some more, buy some more. If you have plenty of money. At this point, you should anyway. And because I just spent time, you know, buying a bunch of shit and I still have plenty of money. And we will do some selling later. But she also, you know, evil. Talk, 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 talk. But buying the potion is important. And magically, despite the destruction that is all around us, despite the state that this realm is now in, all the pot, all the, the the very fragile pots and crates are back in barrels. So apparently, the guardian, just the corrupted guardian, hates everything except for destroyable containers. Fun fact. So absolutely worth destroying again because of the possible gold and the possible and the possible. What's gonna say? Potions. See, like that. Perfect. See, if I didn't think about it, it would have reminded me. But hey. More potions? No. Alright. Let's go talk to Thane, though. Because he is all covered in blood. No. This can't be. The stone bastard. Tell me where to find the Guardian. Head to the plains outside the city. And hurry. Adar is waiting for your boat. But Isla said he didn't know. But he does know. I'm so confused. But yeah. Now we gotta do some more walking. Because, again, understandably, we can't fast travel, but god damn it. I really don't want to run this little thing again. And I guess it's a little different for me. This, for many of you, is probably the second time or third time. But for me, I played the beginning of the game a lot. So I've gone through this little transition area many a time. And it's starting to wear on me. But hey. That's probably just me. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. As as I was saying, I love this game. It is, even all of its flaws. Obviously, I'm enjoying the hell out of it. And I am really enjoying making the videos. And moments like this, when you fight the Guardian, despite being like Shadow of the Colossus, are freaking awesome. No! Beyond my help, horseman. Do your worst. Alright. So now we got a freaking awesome boss battle with freaking awesome music. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, so let's talk about that attack. 
That is one doozy of an attack. So there's two real ways you can avoid it. You can either kind of do a sideways dash away like this, or you can dash towards his legs and try to get away from the hammer blow. So we're gonna do the sideways dash thing. And it did, it almost worked. But the problem is you can't just get out of the range, out of the range of the hammer. You have to get out, you have to get to the side of it because it sends out those rocks. Or that, you know, earthquake thing. So you gotta be careful. Oh! See, I just hate that attack. I hate it! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've I spent a long time trying to figure out how the best way to dodge that attack, and I just can't figure it out. I think the only foolproof way is to go under its legs here. Like this. Come on, come on. Like that. Boom. But the problem is if you're too far away, you can't do that. So, you're kind of, you know, out of luck. So I guess don't go too far away. I guess that's the foolproof way to dodge an attack. Oh, you're just bellowing at me. So if you go near his legs, he does that smash thing. All right, come on, turn around. Don't glitch out, just turn around. Not that hard. La la. La 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 la. You might recognize the music from the beginning of the game. And now we gotta shoot these bombs on his arm. Man, that's just like, corruption just decided to grow like, you know, these giant explosives on the arm. That's totally, now we're totally stuck in his arm. Come on, buddy. Okay. Now we get close, you can death grip your way up. And wail away at the crystal. And bring despair back. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. He's mad. And make sure to save those dashes for when you actually have to dodge. Don't waste him just going around him. Boom. So I guess I did figure out the foolproof way. Foolproof way. I just didn't feel like doing it. I guess the harder part is you don't necessarily have enough time to shoot the stuff on his arm, so just do it quickly. No, 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 no. Okay. Don't you fuck me because I can't get the death grip up. Okay. And Heartstone number one. Gone. And I still think maybe the two other Heartstones would have you know, been fine if you didn't put the corrupted one on his head. But hey. Okay, so this takes a little bit of thought. Come on, shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. So you gotta shoot it enough so that it so that it uh kind of like gets invulnerable. If you start shooting it now, it won't take any more damage. You also want to destroy it. The goal is to turn it into that kind of like floating thing. So that you can get in between it and the sphere. Or between the sphere and the Guardian, so it's kind of like a beeline between them, and then it'll just destroy him, like that. And blow up his leg. Bring him down to a knee, allowing you to smash the second heart stone. However, the trick is, is that you don't actually have enough bullets of redemption to bring it down all the way. So you don't want to shoot it. Where is it? Where is it? Move, 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 move. It's bearing down on me, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So you want at least one more to Ow! Son of a... Okay, heal. So a full clip won't damage it enough in order to freeze it and have it float and try to, you know, home on you. So... Ugh! Like that, you're not... If you wait for it to completely reload, which is what happens if you, if you use all your bullets. And that didn't damage it at all. Jeez, that was close. He's probably not going to get enough time for it to reload, like that. And also remember, that if it's immediately behind you, oh, shooting it, that's never happened before. Run! Run! That's okay. Heal! Jeez! Oh my god. Okay. That was, that was weird. i never seen it shoot two spheres at once. Anyway. We just beat him anyway, so you guys get the strategy, despite my interesting 
performance. Just like I'm at the stage. I used to start making these videos earlier in the day. But hopefully they're still watchable. Because I know they're still accurate. I mean, the only thing I missed was that chest, but I fixed that, right? But... Yeah. Anyway, let's leave it a bit more cheerful. We just destroyed a big corrupted guardian! Oh, I guess we did actually destroy it. But... That's no problem for death. He's got this shit handled. You had no choice but to destroy him, horseman. Yet if the path to the Tree of Life is to be cleared, I have no choice but to bring him back. How many times would you have me kill him? The Guardian will be as a newborn, free of corruption. Now, stand aside. This will take more than a small effort. <laughs> You won't survive this! I am a maker! That task defines my very purpose, as the reaping of souls defines your own! There is no escaping it! Get to the tree now, horseman. Your journey is far from over. Cheap and unlocked. 10G. Heart of the Mountain. Anonymous has left a gift for you. Cheap and unlocked. 20G. Dust to dust. Alright. So that anonymous gift was our ticket to the first 25 levels, 25 waves of the Crucible. Which will be handling special videos. But, as of right now, that is the end. And before you ride off, make sure to grab your guilt and your weapon possess ooh those look tasty we'll be loving those up off camera anyway guys thanks for watching this has been cuddle snot if you're a subscriber make sure to send me a pm if you like the spreadsheet guide which lays out what i get in every episode like book of the dead pages lost relics all that stuff thanks for watching this has been cuddle snot signing off and i will see you again next time <laughs> <laughs>